Hey, how's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm bringing you another GTA Online video and this one is going to be another Best Cars Countdown. We're continuing on with this mini-series and today we're doing the Best Lowrider Cars. So before I get into uh, this countdown, if you have missed any of the videos in this playlist or this mini-series, I will link the full playlist in the description so you guys can go watch all these videos. Some really interesting little countdowns that I've done in the past, but in this one we are doing the Best Lowrider Cars. So we're starting up with the number 5 position and I've gone for the rat truck now I could have gone with the slam van I could have even gone with the vapicino in this number 5 spot but I thought I'd go with the rat truck because I, I don't know I guess I've got a secret soft spot for this rat truck it's really nice I've gone for like a really nice clean design because uh, you can lower this thing you know to its to a point where it's uh, it's it's scraping along the ground pretty much you can get it really low it's uh, it's nice for cruising it's actually in the muscle cars class so you could argue, you know, it's like a, it's a muscle car. You could do a muscle car building it with, you know, with the, with the engine sticking out the hood and the exhaust coming out the hood. But I don't know I think it works nice as a low rider design as well. You can do it really clean, like I've done in this video. I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, I just seem to really like this one. It, they actually came almost a year ago now. This, uh, this vehicle came with the Christmas DLC along with the Slam Van. Uh, the, the previous, uh, the previous vehicle that it was was the Rat Loader. Now I always liked the Rat Loader. But it was all rusty, so the fact that they brought out a clean version, you know, called it the Rat Truck, that's really cool. So there is the Rat Truck. Our next lowrider car in the number four spot, I've gone with the De Class Voodoo. Now, this car would arguably higher up the list if this car also had a clean version. So, as you can see, it's a really rusty car. It's got all the, you know, all the scratches, the dints on it and it looks you know it's got like a really nice design to the car i really like the shape of it i really like the fact that you know before you even lower it it's already scraping along the floor but we just need a clean design of this car now there was a leaked supposed low rider dlc that was going to be coming out but i don't think it ever it ever came through you know it's just speculation so we might get it we might not get this low rider dlc but if we do actually get a proper low rider dlc that would be awesome because I would love to see a fully clean design of the Voodoo with some really nice, you know, modifications to, to make it really pimp, make it really chrome. The only thing you can really do to the car as of right now is change the paint, which obviously the paint's not going to look really good anyway because of all the scratches and the dents. And the only really proper thing you can do is change the wheel. So I think this would be a really, re really awesome low rider car if we had some more modifications and if it had a clean design as well so I don't know if we do get this low rider DLC I would love to see a clean view because it is really nice it's got a really awesome sound to it it's so low to the ground it's got the nice you know fins at the back which look really really cool and I do just like this car it's a it's a really nice car and a perfect low rider car it just needs that clean design so that's why we've only gone for the fourth uh, position our third low rider car in this list is the manana or the manana however you want to pronounce it this one's really nice straight away you can see you've got the uh, the flame designs uh, just behind the front wheel arches which look really cool I've actually gone for a cool little purple design this I think this one's a bright purple with a ice white pearl this one looks really cool you've got the uh, the quad exhausts at the back there as well and the curb feelers as well you can see uh, just uh, sticking out behind the wheels look really cool it's got all the nice chrome designs um, it does come in a a, uh, you can get the hardtop version or you can get obviously the convertible the no roof version but I've gone for the hardtop um, just out of convenience it's the only one I could find you can't buy these in multiplayer just to you know just to clear things up this is on multiplayer I, I bought all these cars on multiplayer um, or found them and upgraded them but you can't actually buy these you've just got to find them and I could only find a hardtop version even though I'd say I probably do prefer the, uh, the obviously the the no top version the no roof I think that looks really nice but again it's a really nice low rider you've got the custom modifications on it uh, you can get the I think you can get a Los Santos plaque um, modification on it but I don't think you can see it because of the tinted windows I think that I'll, I just like the tinted windows look on any car anyway and um, we've gone for the chrome rims the curb feels the exhaust the flames it looks really nice and it's definitely a really really nice low rider car you can see um, all the cars in this gameplay I've had to uh, shoot the wheels to lower them further than the suspension that you can do in the customs so they're really really low to the floor which look which looks awesome so there we go there's our number third our third low rider car and it's the manana so in the second spot just missing out on the top spot I've gone for the vapid peyote 
This one's another one that's super, super low to the ground once you shoot the wheels, and it's got some really nice modifications. I've actually, I did manage to find a, uh, obviously a no roof version for this one, because I do prefer, I do like the no roofs for the uh, for the Manana and the Peyote. This one looks really nice. This one also does have the Los Santos plaque, and you can actually see this one. And it's also got the spare tire, you've got the curb feelers. I have got a custom exhaust, but you can't really see it. And obviously the custom low rider wheels as well. All chrome, I think it just looks so nice, it looks so pimp, and as you can see it's so, so low to the floor, it's a proper low rider car, proper cruise car, obviously all these cars are absolutely perfect for car meets with your friends, if you're just doing some cool little cruises, again with your friends, or even just like a, a proper meet up, these cars are absolutely perfect, and uh, obviously they're not really good for racing, they're not performance cars, they are literally just cars that look good to cruise around in to impress your friends, uh, just impress the other people in maybe an online lobby because they just look really awesome. The customization you can do, as long as you put a good paint job, as long as it, you know, you don't you don't really want like, I don't know, you don't really, I, I don't think the low rider cars look that good in black. Uh, definitely stay away from matte colors in my opinion. If you just want like a nice bright color and then stick an ice white pearlescent, these cars will look amazing. That's, that's definitely my recommendation. So there we go, there's our second low rider car it is the Peyote. Now for the number one spot, this is in my opinion the best lowrider car in the game and it is the D-Class Tornado. This is the one of the first cars I ever owned all the way back on 360. If you if you wanted to go and check my garage tours out like over, well yeah over a year ago, almost two years ago now, you'll actually, uh, you'll actually see this car in my very first garage tour I do believe and I had it in a midnight blue which looking back on it, it's not a really nice paint design. I definitely do prefer this one. This is actually a gasoline green with an ice white pearlescent. We've gone for the chrome wheels and I've actually gone for some white wall wheels as well. I don't think many cars in the game can pull off white wall wheels very well and make them look good, but this car is definitely one of them. We've got like the fenders. Uh, we could have gone for a bug catcher sticking out the hood, but that's not really a low rider design. I definitely just prefer a classic hood. It's got the nice little ornaments on them. Uh, tinted windows. Obviously, like I mentioned, the paint job looks awesome, and obviously you've got all of the chrome bumper designs. And we've actually gone for the short exhaust on the sides. I don't know if you can see them very well uh, at, at all the parts in the gameplay, but the short exhaust looked really nice. They they looked a lot better on old gen because on old gen they were like a proper chrome color, but on this one they don't have the same chrome to fit with, you know, all the rest like the chrome accents and details on the car. But I think they still look good. It's definitely the best looking type of exhaust in the game. For this car in my opinion and I just think it's uh, it's the best low rider car in the game in my opinion so as usual hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video let me know what your favorite low rider cars in the game are let me know in the comments and uh, like I said if uh, if you do want to see a low rider DLC that would be awesome I'd love to see a low rider DLC what kind of low rider cars would you like to see in the game again let me know in the comments and with all that being said if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave it a like rating Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to keep up to date with all my GTA 5 videos. And with all that said, I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.